Well, we've done it. We've come to Karumba. We've just uh, traveled about 30 k's up the coastline, a little bit north, and um, I've got Jack with us. He's up the back, We're just unloading the boat here. And uh, I tell you what, I'm pretty stoked about this boat, eh? 3.7 meter tinny. We were fully loaded, about 50 liters of fuel, swags, camera gear, bloody crab pots, the whole lot. And uh, we made it. It was about an hour run, not too bad, and uh, picked the weather beautifully. Anyway, we're going to uh, go throw the net now at the front. We've sort of found a bit of this ledge here, so hopefully a crocodile can't come up this bit here because um, we may have snuck the boat in yesterday afternoon and we saw a few um, a few crackers. So anyway, we'll hopefully not get eaten here. And uh, we're going to go throw this. I've got a little uh, eight-foot cast net, and um, we're going to go grab a few mullet, load the pots up, get them in the drink, and uh, obviously I don't eat crabs, but my little friend over here, Jack, does. So that's his dinner. We're going to get a barra, and I'm going to eat that. That's the plan. Otherwise, I think we've got a bag of rice. So we'll see what happens, eh? Anyway, let's go get some, uh, let's go get some mullet. There's uh, that much bait here. I reckon we should be right. We just need a couple for each of these crab pots. Get them in and start fishing. To be honest, that's some red hot live bait right there, but... Oh, there we go, we've even got whiting in. Is that whiting? Yeah. A couple of whiting anyway, that's a little sand whiting. Sort of for dinner. Sort of for dinner, yeah, that's it, we'll get him back. Yeah, all we've really done there is shish kebab those mullet and um, just put a little cut in them so it sort of gets a bit of their scent out, I guess. And um, yeah, we got uh, this, yeah, like I said before, this was going to be plan A camp, but um, yeah, it was a bit too crocky for us. So anyway, we got that cliff over there, which will be all right. We got a big bust up on the beach up here. Something just got absolutely destroyed. But uh, as you can see, just behind me, there's a bit of a creek in here. I reckon we're just going to go throw those pots in there, let them soak for probably three or four hours, go for a fish. Catching crap, easy as that. Pretty excited, pretty excited. Got to try and stay calm. Also, I just got this little uh, solar blanket. I reckon that'll do the job for um, keeping that battery charged, keeping this electric going. Upper, yeah. Hello, right that's one. Yeah, there. Yeah. Hello, right pot number two. Right, uh, we're doing the first pot here. Been in for what an hour. That's it, drain crawler. Um, should we move it to like an actual drain? Yeah. Right, uh, we're going to move this one up to a drain and uh, hopefully do a bit better. Right, uh, pot number two. See what we get. Big boy. Oh well, we got dinner. Well, uh, there you go. What was that about? Maybe just about an hour or so, something like that, and um, nailed this crab. But he's actually, we're going to throw him back, believe it or not, because um, I don't know if you can see just here, he's been in the wars and he's looking all a bit gross. So, um, yeah, I don't know, not worth getting sick or anything off him, so. He's a good crab though, he's bloody heavy. It's all good though, we'll, um, yeah, we'll put him back and we've got to go find another pot. We've actually, yeah, missed one up the river somewhere, but hey, that's a good sign. Right, our third pot. No good. No, we got one, we're just going to run him back up, uh, back up here, there's a few drains, so we'll leave him in for another few hours and yeah, unfortunately we spent about sort of the last hour, hour and a half fishing and um, yeah, didn't do any good, but at least we got one crab. We did throw him back, but we'll go put him in and get another one. Oh, we uh, ended up with a little blue salmon, so 
That's lunch. Is it legal? Is it legal? Yeah, it's legal. Eh? Is it? Yeah. They're the two little uh, fillets that we got. Just gonna go wash them off. Well, this is what uh, 30 k's up the coastline of Corumba looks like when you're camping. And you've got crumbs, wraps, a little pan, and a little fire. How yeah, good. Just a uh, little, little feed of fish. She's about to go on. Here's the finished product. I don't know if you can really see that, but a little wrap. And uh, a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, I'm just gonna tuck it all up. Somehow. Just like that. And that's what we're living on for the next couple of days. So Jack just had a good hit behind me here on a live mullet. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Tell you what though, it's been tough. Been tough fishing today. Got that one good crab uh, earlier earlier this morning and um, yeah, a couple of other bloody blue nose salmon and things like that, but no barra. I, uh, I did manage to drop one though, only a little rat barra, but uh, anyway. We'll, uh, we'll see what the afternoon brings. We're going to tuck into this. Hopefully grab uh, grab another fish for tonight. And um, yeah, how yeah, good. Uh, another two meters. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know, I'm standing on the mount. Oh, what is it? Is this like the caddy of all caddies? I don't know, it's a little barra. Oh Jesus, hang on, here we go. Alright, barra number two for the morning. It's uh, about five minutes between them, so... He's a, he's a little bit better, but uh, this little helco, deep diver, seems to be um, seems to be what's working. So I reckon uh, we might get a few more up here as well. It's looking pretty good. So I've just got his gills there, but I think he might be all right to, to let go. Shit, yeah. Keep going. Sixties. I love the two hand grab on the net. That's awesome. Yeah, throw them down, bro. Oh, I picked up another one. Uh, they're coming in thick and fast now. They're getting a bit bigger, but um, you know, no, not monsters by any means. But uh, I tell you what, they're fun in these tight little creeks. I'm having a few dramas with the GoPro, keeping it on, so the hookups. Um, yeah, not really getting too many, too much footage of the hookups. But anyway, it's all good. We'll, um, yeah, I might give this fella a quick measure and get him back. He's actually got a little rip just there, so I don't know if I pulled him out of a. Uh, Bit of a stick or something or what, but anyway, deep dive with lures. Hot tip when you're in Cranber and it's a bit cold. No deep dive. And he's still the same size, 60 centimeters. Um, tell you what, if you're looking for a feed, that is beautiful. Anyway, we'll get him back. Absolutely stoked with this, my first ever threadfin salmon. Uh, I haven't got a measurement on him, it takes about 80, we'll, uh, we'll double check with it. But um, yeah, just snag bashing in this creek still, and I tell you what, it's producing some good fish. We uh, we were very close to having a double just then. We mate Jack over here, he uh, hooked up to a nice little barra, but just spat it at the, uh, spat it at the boat. Unfortunately today, uh, we have dropped quite a few now. We're like sort of probably a K up this creek, and um, every snag there's just seems to be producing. But Anyway, we'll um, we'll get the hang of it soon, but don't know what it is in here, eh? Like the um, all out in the main river and all that. It's pretty dead. We spent all day yesterday fishing for, for sort of one barra, and um, what else would we get a blue nose? But anyway, having a red hot little session in here now, so I get this fellow. I'll get a quick measurement on him, and we'll, uh, we'll get him back. Are we going to the tip of the tail? Well, you go to the fork, don't you? Don't you? Go to the fork. 65. Maybe. 65, but um, anyway, good looking little fish. We'll get him back. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Look at that. We got two legals straight up. Look. Oh, wait. Oh, we have a few he, battle scars on him. He's done well to survive. He doesn't want to let go of his nice. food. And into it. That is a buck. <laughs> Holy. There you go. Overnight soak, we only got the two crabs, but um, to be honest, that's better than I usually do any other time, so pretty stoked with that. Um, yeah, pulled the other two pots. We had three out, two of the other ones were empty, and um, these two big fellas just sitting in uh, sitting in that one pot there, so stoked. They are super full, real heavy, and um, yeah, good crabs, eh? Real good crabs. Right, oh, well it's the last morning up here at uh, Brannigan Creek. Uh, I think uh, Jack and I are about to go out. We found a bit of a creek yesterday afternoon, or yesterday morning, I should say. And um, yeah, caught uh, caught a treaty and a couple of barry out of it. So we're going to go hit it again this morning. Wind's picked up a bit, so I'm um, not too sure how that's going to go. But we can only try. And then the Sabi, I think we're going to make the trip. I think it's about 30k or something back to um, back to Crumba in uh, in the 3.7 meter tinny. Tell you what, she's. Um, She's doing us proud at the moment, so hopefully this wind drops out of the Savi and um, yeah, we can make a, a nice smooth trip back without being too rough, but here's what it is at the end of the day, so yeah, let's get out there and um, catch a few barra. You reckon? Yeah. God. I tell you what, we've uh, we've been pushing up this creek for what, 45 minutes, maybe an hour now, and um, have not even seen anything. No bait, nothing. and. Um, this was the same creek we were in yesterday and we had a pretty good little session on it. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, anyway, we just managed to get the first little bar in the boat. He's only a little, little fella, but um, that might be the start of uh, a few good things to come. And anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get this little fella back and keep going. It's just a must be a mullet, eh? Oh, no. We literally just have you going right there. We <laughs> literally had it right. Fuck. He's only a little fella. Hard body needs to go back on, man. Jesus. Throw him up here if you like, wherever. So coming back on, tide must have changed or something, I don't know. Oh, Much better. Might need the net for this fella. Ooh, oh, big thready. Big thready. Fuck. Jeez. Nice. King of the threadies. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Sorry, mate. No. <laughs> Nervous. Yeah, you might be right there. Uh,
Oh, Holy. How good is that? We've just banged another good thready here, eh? Just um, having a bit of a slow morning this morning. Picked up probably three or four barra and a uh, little cod, but um, yeah, they are slowly coming on the chew, chew here. And uh, I'll tell you what, this fella, I'm glad that I hooked him where I did because I don't think I would have pulled him out of any, any tighter country. But um, yeah, that's definitely my PB thready. So I'm um, absolutely cheering with that, eh? You got a bit of weight to him too. But. Anyway, I reckon we might keep on cruising and um, yeah, this, we've probably got another couple of hours and then we've got to head home. So a bit more fishing to go yet. Yeah, hopefully we can put a few more of these fellas in the boat. But, uh, I'll get a quick measurement on him and then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll send him on his way. To the fork, 72, and to the tip of the tail, 86. So anyway, we'll get him back. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, gotta be, doesn't it? No, oh, no, Barra. Hey. Yeah. That was so weird. Oh, whoops. Turned the uh, GoPro off. But anyway, we uh, got the hook up at least, so that's pretty good. Just a little barra. We'll um, get the hooks out and get a measurement on him. Oh, well, this is camp. We've got a uh, 20 litre drum of water, a box of bloody food, and all kinds of stuff in there. And then I've um, got my swag. And then uh, Jack had his tent here. Pretty basic, but I tell you what, it's about as good as it gets, eh? We are right up high above all the crocs and that sort of stuff, and um, yeah, it was unreal, eh? Great little camp. We're, uh, we're about to pack up now and um, make the trip back to Karumba. The wind's dropped out, so um, we reckon we might be right. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. We've got a few more days there, but I reckon we might save that for the next episode. Anyway, guys, thanks heaps for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, eh? Righto, all packed up. We're out of here.